Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, or the TIE Fighter Chick. Today I have a very special box. This is from my friend Josh at Josh Goes to Disney. Um, I bought pins off of him, we did a Funko trade, that sort of thing. So let's dive right into this. First piece that I see on top is this super cute little domes. Uh, this is from the movie Onward. I'm a really big fan of that Pixar movie. Um, I greatly enjoyed it. Kind of hit you right in the feels uh, when I watched it. Um, just really enjoyed it. It was a great movie, really well done. I loved all of the different, you know, nods to 80s and 90s culture that was in that. It was great. Well, Josh knows that I like this movie, and he opened up these domes on his channel. I'll leave that video link down below, but he got an extra, and it happened to be the unicorn. So he sent that to me. Next up is, I'm sure you can probably guess from the box, a Funko. Now Josh bought four of these from Hot Topic. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, you can tell by the sticker. He was trying to get a chaser or a special edition. Um, I will leave the video of his unboxing link down below as well. Um, but he ended up sending one of these to me as a trade. It's super cute. I love it. You can see all the different ones there on the back. You've got Ian, you've got Barley, uh, Wilden, the dad, and the Manticore. Super cute. I love these. Let's crack it on open. I'm an out of the box collector. Um, for those that don't know kind of what that means, it means that I take my Funkos out of the box. Pretty literal meeting. Um, I do save the boxes just in case somewhere down the road I either move or I need to package them, them back up for some reason or I sell them. I have all the boxes, um, especially for kind of the limited editions or my higher priced pops. It just helps retain that value a little bit better. So anyways, here is the unicorn. <laughs> Super cute. I love these things. They're just, they're hilarious. I love this Funko. Ended up super cute. There's the kind of unicorn horn. I am running out of room for these Funkos. I'm gonna have to find some place to set him. I guess right now the unicorn can sit there next to uh, Robin Hood and Red. All right, last thing is a whole bunch of pins. <laughs> Get ready, y'all. There's a bunch in here. So Josh is, or was, selling his pins. I'm not sure what he's doing with them now, but I ended up purchasing a whole bunch of them off of him. If I can get it open. All right, pause for technical difficulties. Okay, I did pull out the knife to uh, open this up. So the first pin that I have is for Pride. It's a Walt Disney World, a little castle there. Uh, has all the different rainbow uh, colors from the pride flag, so there's that. You can see all the Mickey waffling on the back. So that's pin number one. Pin number two is from a limited release set. For the life of me, I cannot remember what it's called, but it has all the different states on it. So you can see there, we've got two different states. Um, one of them is Ohio, the other one is Indiana and Illinois. Uh, which, this pin is super cute, I love this. I picked it up because it had Chippendale on it. I think it's adorable, you can see Chippendale right there. Um, it's just super cute, you've got Huey, Dewey, and Louie, a Donald's nephews playing basketball, and you've got Mickey um, doing like a, illustration almost, but it says the birthplace of Walt Disney. Super cute. I love that pin. And last in that bundle is two more from the same set. There we go. Again, I picked it up because it has Chip and Dale on it. Um, this one is Nevada and Utah. And for me, I'm a big fan of Nevada. I've got family that lives there, plus I love Vegas. It's a great place to visit. If you are planning a trip to Vegas, here's a little insider tip. Yes, go look at the Strip. It's cool, it's fun, stop, look at the Bellagio, you know, look at the fountains, all that sort of thing, you know, kind of quintessential Vegas. But check out Fremont Street. It has Binion's and the Golden Horseshoe. Those are two of Las Vegas's oldest casinos that are still around and still operating. 
You can even take a picture with, uh, I think it's a million dollars at Binion's, might be a billion. It's been a while since I took a picture with it. Um, I would also check out the Mob Museum. It is a fantastic museum, really well done. I greatly enjoyed it. It's got a little bit of everything. Um, so if you're the type of person that really likes artifacts, if you like reading a little bit or like reading a lot, it's got everything. The other place, which is one of my absolute favorite places on this entire planet, is the Neon Museum. It's housed in a really old uh, hotel, uh, one from like Route 66, it's called La Concha. Um, it looks kind of like a, a seashell of some sort. Uh, they use that as their visitor center and they rescue old neon signs from different places, mainly Vegas, but from different locations if they can get their hands on them. Um, they have things like the Yucca, it's an old Route 66 place. They have the Hard Rock Cafe Hotel sign that was from Vegas. They have uh, Stardust, the Riviera. They've got so many iconic pieces of Las Vegas history that it is a wonderful place to go. Another tip, if you're going to go to the Neon Museum, go at night. They actually will light up some of the signs. It's really cool. Anyways, back to pins and Disney. Um, so I'll show you this pin again. Super cute, has... Uh, Chippendale with Clarice, I think is her name. And then on this side, it shows Mickey hiking um, there in Utah. It looks like that's Arches National Park. Another great place to visit. Next up, I'll do this big package. Oh, heavens. There we go. <laughs> Gotta get them untaped. So this set is from Princess and the Frog. These are spinners. Super cute. Love these. Now these are limited edition of 3000. So you can see there's the frog versions. If you spin it around, there's the human versions of Tiana and Naveen. Super cute. Love that. Next up, same set, it's another spinner, also limited edition, it has Mama Odie, and then if you spin it, so let me do this, there's Mama Odie, if you spin it, there we go, you've got Naveen and Dr. Facilier on that side, again a limited edition of 3000, and another one of those. I think this one might be my favorite. So you've got uh, Tiana and Dr. Facilier on one side. Kind of do another close up there for you. And then if you spin it around, it's Lewis. I love that. He's so cute. Lewis is probably my favorite part of that whole movie. I love him. He's adorable. Alright, let's see if I can get this one open now. Nope. I'm gonna have to pause and cut this one open too. Just a second. Okay. <laughs> Josh taped these really well, so I had to kind of dig through and pull out some layers. Um, Josh also had a bunch of limited editions that he was getting rid of, and since I am not close to the parks, uh, it's always been harder for me to get limited editions. Now, it's a little hit or miss. Sometimes I've been able to pick them up online at Shop Disney, but that's been a whole fiasco. Um, if you've been trying to order limited edition Disney pins, you completely understand how much of a fiasco that is. It's been a pain in the butt. Anyways, so I was able to pick up a bunch of limited edition stuff from, con not conventions, uh, the different festivals. There's the word I was trying to think of. So this one is... Figment, Figment Color Company. This is from Festival of the Arts 2020. And I have the ears for this that I picked up from Beth Lung. Uh, she does Disney pickups there at Disney World. Um, but these are different pins. Super cute. I love this set. I think Figment is absolutely adorable in these. So cute. This one's a pass holder exclusive. So Josh is a Disney pass holder. He was able to pick this one up. And this one's a limited edition of 4,000. Next, also a festival pin. This is Flower and Garden Festival from 2020. And it is Remy as a topiary. Super cute. I love this pin. I'm a big Ratatouille fan as well, and it's hard to find pins that I think are actually super cute. There's the back. 
Uh, this one's limited edition of 4,000 as well. Um, they're super cute. I think that the topiaries are a phenomenal idea. I think it's really pretty. And I really like this version of Remy. I think he's adorable. Next is another Flower and Garden Festival from 2020. Same thing. Uh, this is one of the other topiaries. It's Figment. So I do have a small Figment collection. I'm getting more of these um, kind of all the time. I really like Figment. Limited edition again of 4,000. There's the back. And there's the front. Super cute. Like I said, these topiaries are absolutely adorable. I think that they are probably one of my favorite things, and I would love to at some point go to the Flower and Garden Festival, but we'll see. Um, as of right now, I was planning on doing a trip announcement uh, for December, but it looks like we are planning to cancel. Um, I'll keep everybody updated on if we're going to go. If we do happen to go, I will definitely be vlogging in the parks and posting that, but who knows? Uh, 2020 is kind of absolutely insane, and we'll see what happens through the rest of the year. <laughs> All right, so next I've got some more Princess and the Frog pins. This is one of the bows from the Box Lunch series. Now, Box Lunch... Ooh, words. Box Lunch is legitimate Disney pins. They are licensed by Disney. They can be traded in the parks. Things like fantasy pins, fan-made items cannot be traded, but the Box Lunch Hot Topic pins, they won't have the Mickey waffling on the back. They have the sand back, like this one does. Oops, I'm dropping things today. Um, but it does say, you know, copyright Disney. This one definitely is a legitimate pin. Very pretty, I like that one. Next, this one is... I believe an OE pin from 2011, and it shows Princess Tiana. Super pretty. You know, this one, as you can see, has the Mickey waffling on the back. The last Princess and the Frog pin I have, this one is a cast exclusive. So you had to be a cast member or trade with a cast member to be able to pick this pin up. And it is a name tag it's Tiana themed. Super pretty. Um, if you look real carefully down here, I know it's kind of hard to see. My camera doesn't always like to focus real close. It does say um, Disney Parks cast exclusive on the back. So super pretty. I like that one. And last but not least is another pigment pin. This one's super cute. It says spark your creativity with pigments of imagination. Uh, this one is a limited release, so I do believe that this one came from the festival as well, uh, the Festival of the Arts. Um, but super cute, it's a little paint palette. I love it. Super cute. And then it's got the uh, waffling on the back. Well, that's everything. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you the box that Josh had sent. Uh, there was a lot in it. I think it was a lot of fun to unbox everything. Um, thank you again, Josh, for selling pins to me, trading me for the Funko, all that good stuff. I greatly appreciate it. And like I said before, I'll leave his links to his unboxing videos down below in the description so that you can pop over to his channel and look through those videos. He does a lot of Funko stuff as well as some Disney. So if you're into Funko and you're here on my channel, definitely check out Josh's. You'll really like it. Okay, folks, I hope you have a magical day, and I will see you next time.